Hello once again people of the internet and welcome to Retro Rewind where we take a look at and review old games to see if they're still worth your time playing. So should you play Theme Hospital from 1997? Before we get into the technical aspects of playing an old game on modern hardware, first let's talk about the game itself. Gameplay. Imagine being handed an empty shell of a building and told, here you go, make an hospital. That's Theme Hospital for you. Your mission in the game is to transform various sized empty husks of buildings into a bustling health haven. It's like playing God, but with more pie charts. You'll need to ensure that you have all the right facilities to diagnose and treat the various bizarre and often humorous illnesses that patients saunter in with, like bloaty head and hairy vitus. Making sure you have enough space for all the rooms, managing your staffing levels and finances is where the challenge lies. You also have to deal with emergencies, epidemics and earthquakes. At its core, it's a fantastic game, and if you can overcome the terrible ageing of the game, you'll probably have tons of fun. Everything is done via mouse on the PC version, with the option of using just the arrow keys to move the camera around. It's actually pretty intuitive and easy to pick up as a new player and start building your own new hospital faster than you can say medical malpractice. Malpractice makes malperfect. Which you should probably try to avoid, because if you kill too many patients, you get a visit from the health minister. Which you kind of don't want. Verdict. Graphics. The graphics are terrible. It's not a pleasant game to look at at all. There are no settings to alter in this game beyond a simple low res mode. It's frankly headache fuel. However, if you're a fan of mods and have a penchant for tinkering, Corsix TH gives it an impressive makeover and actually makes the game more playable. But judging this game on just its vanilla installation, it's not something I could stick with for a long time. Maybe it looked better on the old CRT monitors? Maybe modern high-resolution, high-frame-rate monitors showed too much of the pixelated detail. All I can tell you is it was painful to play. Verdict. Audio. The audio is also terrible. The grating music doesn't help that headache that you got from staring at the pixels. Especially when you're listening to a symphony of coughs and the doors constantly opening and closing by your victims, um, patients. The only redeeming audio feature is the sarcastic receptionist announcing things over the intercom. She's a delight. Patients are reminded not to die in the corridors. You can turn all sound effects off if needed, but then the game's atmosphere is completely killed. Unfortunately, there's no winning here. Instead, I recommend cracking open Winamp and throwing on some Linkin Park MP3s that you got from LimeWire. Verdict. Please to obtain, install and run. Theme Hospital is available from the EA Store, GOG.com or on the classic PlayStation 1. When bought via their digital storefronts, the game comes packaged with and automatically launches through a DOS emulator called DOSBox. This seems to work great and requires no manual setup from the user. There are absolutely no options though to mess around with and it runs at what appears to be 640x480. Through EA Store, it's a low, low 85p. However, through GOG.com, they're asking for £4.85. Second-hand copies of the original PS1 version go on Fleabay for around £5 to £15. Verdict. Final thoughts. It was an amazing game for its day, with addictive gameplay and a unique take on the theme-slash-management genre that was essentially created by Bullfrog with their previous game, Theme Park. That being said, it has not aged well at all. And there is a better option to play, a nearly identical version of the game, with 2018's spiritual successor, Two Point Hospital. There really is no reason to be playing Theme Hospital, other than the low cost. Seriously, go play Two Point Hospital. Or go to a real hospital. You'll probably need it by now after that headache you have. Final verdict. 
subscribe for more.